day. And as someone with type 2 diabetes, I thought that this would be the perfect time to raise awareness about this chronic condition. So here to help me spread the message is Chief Medical Officer of Abbott's Diabetes Care Business, Mahmoud Kazemi. Hi, Mahmoud. Hi, Terry. So, Mahmoud, we've all heard the word diabetes, but not everybody knows exactly how it affects the body. So can you explain what happens when you have diabetes? Absolutely. Thanks so much for having me here today on World Diabetes Day. So there are 34 million Americans who live with diabetes every day. That's about one in every 10 Americans. So odds are that most of us either know someone living with diabetes or are living with the condition ourselves. Yeah. And normally the way the body uh, processes the food we eat is that it breaks it down into sugar. And then that sugar has to get into our cells, which needs a hormone called insulin. So what happens in diabetes is either the body isn't able to produce any more insulin or it still can produce insulin, but it's not enough for the body's needs. So either way, the blood sugar rises, and over time, high blood sugar can be associated with some serious health conditions, such as heart disease, vision loss, and kidney disease. Wow. Uh, I know a lot of people don't know what the difference is between uh, type 1 diabetes and type 2 diabetes. Can you explain that? Yes. So uh, type 1 diabetes is when the body can't produce any more insulin at all. Mm -hmm. In type 2 diabetes, the body can still produce insulin. It's just not enough for its needs. And I think the really important thing to remember here is that both forms of diabetes actually have a genetic component. Oftentimes with type 2 diabetes, there's a lot of stigma after the diagnosis. But it's important to remember that lifestyle factors alone don't explain who will or will not develop diabetes. There is a genetic component. Now, uh, tell me this. Is it true that statistically, people of color are at a higher risk for developing diabetes? Absolutely. So we do know from government data that black Americans, Hispanic Americans, Native Americans have a higher risk specifically for type 2 diabetes. Mm. And that's why it's really important on this World Diabetes Day for especially communities of color to make sure to speak to their healthcare professionals about being screened for diabetes, in particular if they have a family history. Got you. Now, uh, yes, you can if you want to have. <laughs> Absolutely. Because it's so important. Absolutely. So very, very important. As I mentioned, I have type 2 diabetes, and I was diagnosed right before I signed on to The View because diabetes runs in my family. Uh, both of my sisters have it. My uncle has it. Uh, and I actually lost my mom and my aunt to diabetic complications. And my diagnosis was a big wake-up call because I knew I had to make changes in my life. And I have to give it up for my son, Jeffrey, because Jeffrey was the one that convinced me to take better care of myself. Um, one day he said to me, thank you. He did. I, I literally was not taking care of myself. And Jeffrey said to me one day, he said, mommy, if you die, who will be my bodyguard? That's what Jeffrey said. And uh, that right there was all it took for me to take this diagnosis seriously. So I always tell people, I say to them, don't look at diabetes as a death sentence. Mm -hmm. You just have to be open to making some changes that will give you a better, uh, a better quality of life. Absolutely. So I use, for me, I, the pricking the, the, my finger. Mm -hmm. I can't, it just, I don't like pricking my finger. And so I use the, uh, if you can get it, Ellie, it is the Freestyle Libre system. And this has been instrumental in managing my diabetes. So can you explain how this device has just literally changed the game for people who have diabetes? Sure. So first of all, I would say that it's really important for people with diabetes to keep track of their blood sugar levels. Uh, just like we wouldn't ask someone to drive a car without a speedometer, we yeah. shouldn't be asking people with diabetes to take care of their diabetes without knowing what their sugar levels are. Mm -hmm. So as you just showed, this uh, Freestyle Libre system yeah. is, includes the sensor, which you've shown, very small, right that also communicates exactly with either a smartphone or a reader. And what it allows people with diabetes to do is to have access to their sugar readings minute by minute. And they can also have optional alarms for if the sugar level goes high or low. And very importantly, as you mentioned, Sherry, it actually eliminates the need for routine finger pricking. Yeah. So that has been really a game changer for people with diabetes because in the past we would ask people to prick their fingers multiple times a day. Mm -hmm. And now you can get much more information from a single sensor than you could from all of those finger sticks. So it's really changed the game. I love it. I love my freestyle Libre. And right there on my cell phone. I got on my cell phone. It tells me my readings right there. Absolutely. So for people who don't know, what are some of the ways that uh, people can manage their diabetes? 
Sure, we have uh, medications, obviously, but mm -hmm. also very important always in diabetes are lifestyle factors, such as the foods we eat, the activities we engage in, alcohol intake, and also, uh, obviously, stress. I know it's easier oh. said than something that we can often solve, but all these factors can play a role. But the important thing is with using continuous glucose monitoring systems like the Freestyle Libre system, people can see what the individual impact of these factors are. So instead of just getting generic advice about food or activity, they can actually see for themselves what different foods, what different activities do, and therefore they can make much better decisions about their diabetes management. This is what I'm talking about. Mahmoud, thank you so much for being here. And for more info, be sure to check out SherryShowTV.com. We'll be right back.